So we use satellite image like mm -hmm. this all the time, um, but our, our recent series of goes that we've seen and have sent up to, to space, we talk a lot about them, a lot of fanfare. But when we look at it from a different perspective, it's amazing what we can see. And what we're expecting here in the northern U.S. and maybe Canada, a geomagnetic storm. And we know that only because of the tools that we use that are sun-directed. We're starting to see all this unfold. This is a look from NOAA's newest satellite. This is GOES-19. This image shows a coronal mass ejection, or a CME. It was Earth-directed. And what's unique about this GOES, this satellite that we have that's geostationary, it has a coronagraph on board. So we're able to put that disc in front of the sun and look at the corona. That's where we can see when these CMEs occur. And it's been quite captivating. We get a new image every 15 minutes and then they're able to be stitched together and then you can make out what looks to be just a movie. But you see that flare? Um, it's interesting, right? Let's bring in meteorologist Michael Estime. And it's fascinating if you do like space weather, Michael. Oh, yeah. um, initially, this wasn't looking like it'd be Earth-directed. Mm -hmm. But things, just like they do when you're forecasting the weather on Earth, change. And it, in this case, it looks like we might get hit by a solar wind. Yeah, I mean, Stephen, it is impressive to see, believe it or not, in places like Anchorage, Alaska, they actually saw some hints of what we call the Aurora Borealis, a.k.a. the Northern Lights. Yeah. Now, Stephen, I've not actually seen the Northern Lights or the Aurora Borealis, uh, but I hear it's beautiful. And here's the thing, late this evening, and then, of course, during the overnight hours into early tomorrow morning, we have a G3 in terms of the power of our solar conditions, what that means is we have a strong, we have a, a strong explosion that occurred on the surface of the sun on Tuesday. And here's what that means. As Stephen mentioned, it's our CEM, our coronal mass ejection. And it's a huge burst of energy basically rocketing toward the Earth. And that'll cause our geomagnetic storm rated a G3. The G3 rating means that it's strong and that, of course, it's powerful enough to cause some minor trouble for things like power grids and, of course, GPS navigation. But it is guaranteed to provide us with some really cool views late this evening, even further south than usual. I think a lot of people think, oh, if I go to places like Iceland, right, Reykjavik, or way up north in Canada, that's where you see the auroras. While true, this time around, what we'll note is all of that viewing is actually going to get a whole lot better much further up toward the northern tier of the U.S., from Minneapolis, St. Paul, toward Billings, Montana, Seattle, perhaps if there's not as many clouds, we'll be able to see that. And it's rated and graded on a few different scales. Another one is our KP scale. Here's what that looks like. And typically it's way up here, as we mentioned, in parts of middle to northern Canada. However, the more powerful that blast of energy is from the sun, what it does is it increases our KP values. That basically helps us determine how well you're going to be able to see the aurora. So a mid to higher KP index around seven, perhaps even around nine, means that you can see it even further south. So what's that mean for us? Well, we're expecting that late this evening, especially around the 2 a.m. hour during the overnight hours, we'll get some pretty decent viewing. So guys, we'll see what happens, Stephen. I get so excited around these events, but the problem is if you live in a big city like New York, Philly, Boston, and you're in the downtown area, most likely you probably are not going to see this because of the light pollution, but certainly something to watch out for if you're a... Uh, a sky weather enthusiast. Yeah, and if you're able to get away from uh, from the crazy light pollution, I think it was uh, it was earlier this year yeah. they were able to be seen in New York because we had mm -hmm. uh, such a severe geomagnetic storm. But this one doesn't look like it, right. even though we're still in that period where the sun can produce some gnarly flares, and if they're earth directed, mm -hmm. um, we got We got to watch for it. All right, we'll be paying attention yes. if you if you have clear skies. Take a look. Yes. Thanks, Michael. Appreciate it. I think it's good luck to run outside barefoot <laughs> when you see it. You're right. We should start that.